Hello everyone, I'm Everett here. Um, I've been seeing on the interwebs uh, about people wanting to make subs for their videos for various reasons and finding it to be too difficult or just too time consuming. So I'm going to show you guys Aegis Sub, which is available on all three platforms Mac, Windows, um, Linux, and Unix. And, um, Showing how easy it is to use. And I know looking from the screen it looks very confusing. There's all this icons and stuff, and there's even a fish up there. What does the fish do? Um, but really, if you're just going to edit subs, it's quite easy. Uh, here we have, when we start up, there's no subs there. Um, so, we can either open subs, Open my Let's Play directory where I have my um style savvy subs. Uh, .ass is um Aegis subs native format. SRT is an exported format. No. No. Well, this one um go away. And audio go away. Because you're probably just going to be singing this up here. And now if you just need to edit sub, you can load subs from a file, or you can load subs from a video itself. Like, let me go to my anime directory. Um, it's a good one, this one. You can see it's an MKV file. I can hit open, and then I get to pick which one, which embedded one it is. Open. And a little green bar goes to the right. And there it is. So I can then edit a subtitle in here, press enter, and I'll just update that time code. I can also edit a time code by highlighting that and editing that. You'll see it goes red when your your subtitle is on the screen at the same time as the other two subtitles, which it can be okay for you or, you know, you can fix it. Um, now you're like, well, I have a video I want to subtitle. How do I do that? Well, let me just clear this out. You can open video. Here, let me open this failed video. This is an earlier. It will not do Cam Studio video. So I'll have to open um, H264 or an XVID or some other non Cam Studio thing. Yeah, load time codes. And here is an earlier failed attempt at recording. Yays. And you can see here is the zoom. I can have it at 100%. We. Um, 50%. We. So I can move around this. If I need to. I was doing my style savvy video. I need to, to subtitle a specific area. No, you say. Um, they open a video with sound on it. Because it's useless, kind of. Well, I mean, you can do it without sound, but if you're wanting to specifically subtitle sound, I can show you how to do that, too. Unload my time codes. Twenty-five is good enough. Thirty-seven. I'll be different. Now, I can also load audio from an audio file. Like if I have a video file and a separate audio file, I can load just the audio file. Um, 
I can open audio from video, which is what I'm going to do. While that's loading, you can see these little numbers on the screen. That tells you the position that the cursor's at. If I wanted to have a subtitle, and that's as easy as just typing it in and then pressing enter, and your subtitle's there. You can even see it right there, subtitle. I can actually, like, click on the subtitle to highlight it and move it around the screen. I don't think YouTube specifically supports that. I haven't tried it. It might. But if you export to SRT, it kind of strips the position codes out. But you can save your .ass file in there and then uh, possibly convert to SRT through another means. Uh, YouTube only takes SRTs and not .ass files. I think they take other subtitle files, but that's the main ones that I'm usually working with. So I'm gonna red position, which defaults it. Now I can play selection. Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Fab Style! And once I got my selection, I can pull this toward my selection. Welcome back. You can see it also has a built in spell checker. And there we go. I just hit enter, and there it is at the proper time code. And I can also go back and. Let's just say I need this to run longer. I can either drag this out and resubmit it, or I can specifically go to this little code here and then submit that way, and I'll change it. I mean, I can also change it up here too. I can also change it on the bar there. And what I also have under options, hotkeys, set to end video, I can just press, and set to start video, I can press those to set the subtitle to, if I pick a, um, a time here, I can set it to there, and then pick another time. Come on, I know it's a really huge file. And then, set it to there, and you can see it updates the time code down here. So that's pretty much well, all you really need to know about Aegis subs to do simple subtitling. It's quite powerful and can do really more advanced stuff, but for simple YouTube subtitles, it gets the job done. So after you have your subtitles here, you want to export them. So you want to go to File, Export subtitles. And you can click on this to get the helps for them to see what they are. UTF-8 encoding is what I suggest. You, if you know what these do, go for it. Export. You can just type in like test subs dot srt. Save. And you want to replace it? Yes, I do. And then you get a nice little. Um, subtitle file that you can upload to YouTube. Uh, thanks for listening. Hope I can hope I've helped. Take care guys.